Today we're gonna be reacting to some Instagram content. I had a friend send me this meme and it says, after joining five online business programs, switching niches 11 times and hiring four business coaches that left me in debt, I couldn't help but wonder, had I just been sold an unrealistic, unattainable girl boss capitalistic dream? And then a few days later, another friend of mine on Instagram suggested that I start sharing some of the content we see on Instagram reels, particularly from women in MLMs who try to sell individuals on a business opportunity, but never really explain what the opportunity is. They always encourage you to like send me a private message or shoot me an email and I'll explain everything. And so I wanted to share some of those examples in this video today so as to hopefully help you avoid getting scammed in the future. So just like in a lot of my other content, I really just wanna highlight a lot of the common verbiage and rhetoric that is used in this space. Again, so that you can leave this video feeling a little bit more informed and a little bit more observant and less gullible to falling for these opportunities. Because what I have come to notice, and my friend pointed this out as well, is that a lot of people in the comment section of these Instagram reels don't seem to recognize that this is a scam and they legitimately think it's a real business opportunity that's gonna allow them to get rich, stay home with their kids, quit their job, et cetera, et cetera. And so it's clear to me that somewhere along the way, the messaging is not being shared and I wanna make sure that we can avoid these scams in the future, okay? I don't want you to end up like this lady, okay? Let's go ahead and jump right into the first Instagram reel. So I'll just pop the screenshot up here so you can read it. It says, don't get sidetracked by those who aren't even on track. Surround yourself with people who share your vision and have been where you want to go. Okay, this one in the MLM context and business coaching context as well is especially controversial. And I say this because I understand the notion that oftentimes in life outside of business, just in general, people are often critical of you and what you're doing based on their own experience, based on jealousy based on things that maybe they're not happy with in their life. And so there is a point in your life, again, in general, where when you receive feedback from someone, sometimes it's important for you to, I apologize for the sirens, ugh, so annoying. Okay, so as I was saying, it is important when we receive feedback in our lives that we are critical of whether or not the person who is giving us that feedback actually has our best intentions in mind or if they're coming from a place of malice or ill intent. However, when we see it in the context of MLMs where they're saying not to get sidetracked by people who are criticizing what you're doing, this can be really problematic because what these people are often doing is trying to get you to stay in the MLM. So a lot of the times you join the MLM, vibes are high, you're feeling really good, you're really motivated. But as you start to not make sales consistently for months and months on end, and you're losing lots of money, it's likely that you're going to want to leave. Maybe your spouse is telling you like, you're sinking so much money into this. Is it really a good idea? They're going to convince you that your spouse doesn't have your best interests in mind. And that the only reason she or he is saying that is because they don't know what's best for you. And so this kind of thinking where we only listen to people who are on the same vibe as us, and we only take feedback from people who are where we want to be, is really just encouraging you to stay indoctrinated into the MLM. It encourages group think where we don't take outside opinions, we just think what everyone else is thinking. And it really prevents you from truly being critical about whether or not these people who are giving you the criticism which most of the time it isn't even criticism, they're just like saying their opinion, whether or not they have your best interests in mind. So again, just something to think about. Now, this next one is the one that my friend sent to me on Instagram. And again, I'll pop the screenshot up on the screen so you can read it. It says, business opportunity, clean health and wellness, uncapped earning potential, work from Wi-Fi, create your own schedule, free mentorship, work alongside your nine to five or school, and then drop a butterfly for more information. Again, I think it should be obvious, but this is not a real business opportunity. However, you will see in a lot of these videos and Instagram posts that these individuals make, they try to pose it as such. So clean health and wellness. I'm going to guess that this person is an Arbonne, but I'm not sure. If you're someone who values, you know, your health and your wellness, this is a good opportunity for you. You can sell products that complement that. Uncapped earning potential. I mean, who doesn't want to make as much money as they could ever imagine? Work from Wi-Fi. Again, pretty normal nowadays. Back in like 2016, when I was first exposed to MLMs, I would say it was a little bit less normal, but now with the pandemic and a lot of people have shifted to working remotely, 
I don't really think that's much of a benefit because there are thousands of jobs that allow you to work from Wi-Fi. Create your own schedule, not exactly true. A lot of the times when you join these MLM opportunities, you're forced to attend group calls on a set schedule and there are requirements that your upline sets for you. Free mentorship, literally stuff they regurgitate out of a book. I've watched tons of Zoom trainings. I could do one on this channel if you wanted me to, but it's just boring, same old BS that you could Google. Work alongside your nine to five, okay, sure, but if you feel like working 40 extra hours a week, that sounds awful to me. I will not be dropping a butterfly for more info. Again, so this one says you broke your nine to five cycle and started earning on your own terms. The caption for this one reads, follow if you're trying to do the same. So again, just preying on people who are not happy in their nine to five job and are looking for that opportunity to make more money on their own terms. Again, I just think that this post is misleading and that's why I wanted to share it. Okay, so next up we have another POV. And I've muted the music because it is copyrighted, so I'll just read it to you. You try the IG shampoo, you love the IG shampoo, you start telling people about the IG shampoo, now you earn money by helping other people get their hands on the IG shampoo. Now let's just see how untrue this is. So up on the screen here, you will see the 2021 Monet Income Disclosure Statement Statement. This is the Canadian version. If you didn't know, I'm based in Canada. And right here, it says that the average monthly earnings for nearly 96.6% .6 of its distributors is only $22 a month. I don't know about you, but $22 a month wouldn't even cover half of my cell phone bill. And isn't owning a cell phone the quintessential piece of being able to run this business because I can work from my phone, but what if I can't afford to pay for my phone because my job doesn't pay me enough money to be able to afford my cell phone? Riddle me that. In fact, according to this chart, which I will pop up on the screen again, less than 1% of distributors make what I would consider to be a livable wage. Mind you, these numbers are all pre-tax. So once we factor in tax, even less than less than 1% are making enough money to actually live on. And I think the disparity in these numbers is pretty drastic as well. If we look at the jump between managing market mentor where you're making $11,000 a month to AED where you're making nearly 20,000. So you're making almost double by just going one rank. To me, super misleading to say that if you join this opportunity, you're gonna make money because the statistics don't lie and these statistics are directly from the company themselves chances are you're not gonna be making money or at least not making enough money to even cover your monthly expenses. So what's the point? Moving along. Okay, so I will screenshot the first slide here. It just says POV, you partnered with that online wellness brand, quit your full-time job, travel for free, earn your car, and now show others how to do the same. Again, if the income disclosure statement that I just shared isn't enough proof, I will also talk about the car program because this individual does say she earned a car and that is not entirely true. So essentially the way the car program works with Monet is that if you reach a certain rank and you hold that rank for a certain number of months, you are then gifted a sum of money which you can use towards the payment on a lease or the ownership of a white Cadillac. The Cadillac does have to be white and it also has to be like a certain number of years new. Like I don't think it can be older than like 2018 or something. And again, you're the one that has to take out the lease or the loan on the car and then Monet sends you the money every month. You are then taxed on that money because it's technically income, but then you can use it towards the payment on that vehicle. The same goes for the travel for free earned trips. You are sure given the airfare, the hotel stay for free if you reach certain requirements. However, at the end of the year, you are given a tax slip saying that you were paid that in income. So if they paid $800 for my flights to Mexico, I would then get a stub at the end of the year that said I was given $800 because that's the value of the flight that they paid for. So again, I'm paying taxes on this free trip, which in turn makes it not free. Moving on. Again, this one is a great example of the false and unrealistic expectations. They're preying on people's vulnerabilities and the desire to 
work from home, stay home with the kids, have financial freedom, et cetera, et cetera, when the reality is, as I've stated over and over again in this video, that is not going to be the case for the majority of people. So just in case it was too quick, it said, you can sit with us now accepting social media influencer applications. Let me just say for the record that being a social media influencer is not a job that you can apply for. And as someone who is a nano influencer, so yes, I have a small following, but I do make money making posts on social media. I honestly find it offensive that people try to make it seem that it's so easy to become an influencer. So for context, I have about 42,000 followers over on TikTok. I do a lot of small business related content. I've done a lot of brand deals with major corporations in Canada, including the Royal Bank, TELUS, Coho, et cetera, where I talk about programs related to Canadian small business. And I have spent thousands of hours creating that platform and creating that following on that platform. And so for them to say, oh, you can just apply and be a social media influencer to me is like a little bit offensive. <laughs> Maybe I'm just sensitive. But again, the problem here is that they don't wanna call it network marketing. They don't want people to know that it's direct selling. And so they put it under this flashy title that is more appealing to people like, oh, I would love to be a social media influencer. And so it essentially like tricks them into applying for this job, which again is inaccurate and misleading, not to mention the fact that they set up like a Google form and make you apply is just a huge red flag in the first place. So additional tip, if you ever see someone be like, oh, join my business opportunity, go to the link in my bio. If you have to fill out a Google form that looks like a job application, run, run, run. Chances are it's an MLM. Okay, I used to think I wanted a big city job with a big title until I realized I don't care about those things. I wanna spend my days with my family, making sourdough, homeschooling my babies, and running our businesses from our phones while we go to the park on a Monday afternoon. Grateful I was open to looking different. Again, 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 she's using the things that people desire. They wanna stay home with their kids, they wanna have freedom, they don't wanna work a nine to five job, they wanna make their own schedule, et cetera, et cetera to lure them into the MLM opportunity. I don't know about you, but personally, I would love to do absolutely nothing and go to the park on a Monday. Like I'm sure this guy right here, where is he? He would love to go and do nothing on a Monday afternoon at the park. Maybe I should join an MLM. Just kidding. Again, I just hate it. It's so silly. And again, people who don't know what to look out for are going to fall prey to this. That is the point. Okay, I have one last one. This one is Arbon. We're gonna look at the income disclosure statement as well. So let's just watch the video first. And again, I'll just pause it on the screen here so you can read. It says at 19, I dreamed of a career where I could create my own schedule, travel, help others, and earn generously based on my efforts. So I partnered with a health and wellness company that has allowed me to create that and so much more. Again, misleading kind of makes you think like, oh, you could get rich because it says earn generously. Let's just look at the income disclosure to sta statement for Arbonne and see what it says, is that true? I bet no. So the Arbon one is interesting because they put it in reverse so that you see like the highest paying titles first. So if we look at the bottom, the independent consultants, which is 60% of the people in the company, they earn on average annually $257, $257. And then the median, which is actually the number I prefer to look at is 129. So that's $10 a month. What can I buy for $10 a month? That won't even pay for my coffee habit. <laughs> Next, you can see here, it goes up, 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 annual earnings the only people that really realistically earn a livable wage are the people at the top. I guess 50,000 would be okay, but you also have to factor in the income tax you're gonna have to pay on that, which in Canada is gonna be about 25%. So realistically, if you're a single income household, that's not gonna get you very far. And if we look over here in the bottom average column, it's pretty despairing. So safe to say that only 1% of people would earn enough for this to be a viable business opportunity. All that to say, I hope that this video at least opened your eyes a little bit to a lot of the kind of tactics and video styles they like to use to entice people to sign up for these business opportunities. Keep in mind, these are not business opportunities. These are scams.
in my opinion. So with that being said, if you have content you want me to react to, my email is linked in the description. Be sure to check out this playlist right here with all of my anti-scam content. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already, and you can subscribe to my channel for more scam content. I will see you in my next video. Bye.